we will be talking about triangle in this video. Okay, so here we move on to our fourth type of 2D figure which is known as uh, triangle. Now, triangle, we can think it of a uh, Doritos chip. Now, even though uh, if you guys don't know what Doritos chips are, it's a basically snack uh, that we get uh, it, you know, over here and Doritos chips are basically not perfect triangle they are basically curved triangle but idea is the same so you have a triangle and then you have some length to it okay and then you have let's say you make a midpoint right here and these are all the sides that you have now if the sides are similar they are known to be equilateral triangle because the sides are similar okay so now what happens is that since we have a height over here we can say this is the base we can say this is the base and this are the legs of a triangle this is the height let's name it and legs L okay these are not length but this is a leg so we can say the basic formula for area of a triangle that would be half times uh, B times H. Now the only reason that we use half is basically because it's half of a parallelogram. Okay, now we will get there but just remember this. Now there is also one more formula that you will be introduced in your further studies you will first be introduced with a simple formula which is half times breadth times height. Okay, now B is breadth but it's basically known as base. So you take the uh, measure of the base, multiply it by the height of the triangle, and then you divide it by 2. So this is the first formula that you will be introduced to. Uh, to. But then in you, when you move on into geometry, you will be introduced to a formula that says area is equal to square root of 3 over 4. Okay, square root of 3 over 4 times a square. Now the A over here is basically the side, the side length, which is the L, okay? So let's go ahead and change it to L, the side length. If only, you can only use this when the sides are same measure. Otherwise, you have to use this formula. Okay? So you, you understand that concept. Now, there is also many different types of triangle. Like, one we mentioned was equilateral triangle. But with, as you move on to, you know, after you are done with uh, geometry, in that same course, though, you, I think you will find out another type of triangle, which is, Equilateral, uh, equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, then right triangle. But let's not go ahead and focus on isosceles triangle because that's an easy concept. Uh, uh, okay, right triangle though is is important one. It helps you. In, it will help you in trigonometry as well. So right triangle is basically triangle like this that creates 90 degree angle right here. Okay. 90 degree okay so this is triangle any three whenever you join any three points it's a known as triangle but it depends on you how you join them so we have a point here point here point here and we joined it together now we know it's a triangle but since it created that 90 degree angle right here it's known as right triangle because 90 degrees is known as right uh, right angle and because it creates 90 degree angle over here we name, uh, we name this triangle nine, right triangle so there's something important going on over here that uh, we have to talk about so in order to find uh, the area of this right triangle what we need to do is basically well, we use the same formula which is half times b times h this is universal formula for all the triangles but only when you have 
uh, an equilateral triangle, you can use this uh, formula. Not saying you cannot, but if you use this formula, it will be much easier than to use this formula only if you have equilateral triangle. So here we have right triangle like we said, and in order to find this is the hypotenuse, and this is the length, uh, length A, and this is length B. So here what happens is that if one, one, one uh, length is not given, you can find out the other length, okay? That is created by Pythagorean. Now, it's also known as Pythagorean theorem, which basically says that h squared, which is hypotenuse, is equal to a squared plus b squared, okay? That is hypotenuse squared, it should be equal to a squared plus b squared, okay? So this is the formula in order to find the hypotenuse. Now, what do I mean by this? If you still don't understand what this means is that, let me give you a quick demonstration. Let's say you have a right triangle here. And let's start involving with some number. If you were to give 3 over here and 4 over here, and it says, I don't know this length. Okay? You can find it out by having 3 and 4. If you plug in 3 and 4, 3 squared plus 4 squared, you'd find out that the h would equal to 5. So here you would have 5. Okay, now I've done this procedure. This is the reason why uh, I have h squared. So we have h squared would be equal to 9 plus 16. And then we have h squared would be equal to 25. And then square root of 25, which is 5, is equal to h. Okay, so this is the whole idea right here of how we got that 5 in place over here. So knowing this 2D figure, let's go ahead and move on to our fifth figure. I see you.